I am here to rank things, not because I want to, but because I have to. And also because I want to. So today, what we are doing today is we are ranking coffees. What's the best coffee? What's the best coffee drink? What's the difference between a lot of them? The answer, most people won't know this, is not that much. But let's rank them anyways, because that's just what we do now. Uh, to begin with, we have affogato. Now, affogato is a good one to start off with, because it's normally just a shot of espresso and vanilla ice cream. So that's excellent. I don't think that there would be... Like, honestly, that's a perfect combination for me. You get the sourness of the espresso, you get the sweetness of the vanilla ice cream. It's perfect. Everyone who has an affogato really likes an affogato. I remember we used to make them at... A uh, spielhaus and I'd be a little, put a little cinnamon on top. It's really good. If you've never had one and you're looking for a treat, it's a good one to go with. So, so treat yourself. It's a good time for it. So do it. Do it up. We next have Americano. Now, Americano can go either way with me. You can have really good Americano. You can have really bad Americano. It usually depends on the espresso bean. If they use an excellent espresso bean, then there's no issue. If they're using bad espresso beans or if they're using burnt espresso beans, it's going to be not very good. So I would kind of put Americano in that realm where it's kind of in between. I would say I could take it or leave it. I think there are times where it's excellent and there are times where it's great. And there are times where I'm just like, this is disgusting. I would rather not have this coffee. Thank you very much. What makes most coffee better or at least more palatable for more people is milk. Whether you're using oat milk, cow milk, whatever milk you're trying to use. Uh, Cafe au lait is usually just a very standard coffee with milk, very dense, uh, well not even very dense, it's just a coffee with milk. So a cafe au lait would kind of be, it's normally how I just take my regular coffee, because, you know, coffee can go many different ways, so having that just with milk, it's usually a good option. I don't think that there's any issue with putting that right high in the list. Cafe latte. A latte is made with foam, a uh, latte is usually one shot espresso to three to four parts uh, milk and foam, and then one part foam on top. Uh, it's where you get the lighter drinks, it's where you get the more palatable coffee drinks, it's kind of Making lattes is kind of what got me into drinking coffee, and now I'm just like, whatever, it's fine, it's the best. I would put cafe latte in the middle. I drink it all the time. Do I drink it all the time? No, but I could, and I would. Coffee is probably one of my favorite beverages. It didn't start that way, but you know. Over time, things change, and you change, and you decide that one day you like coffee. And if you don't, that's fine too, but I just don't, I don't know those people, so... We are going to move along. Cafe Mocha. It's a co it's a latte with chocolate. What is what is a negative in there? Absolutely nothing. A cafe mocha, especially like if you get an iced cafe peppermint mocha. Oh, it's so good. It's easily one of my favorite drinks of all time. So definitely if you get a chance to check it out. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Treat yourself. If you get a nice like rich white chocolate as well rich white chocolate. White chocolate is mostly just sweet. But if you can get like a nice rich velvety chocolate in that coffee with a really nice espresso and a really good milk, oh, oh, that's a good one. That's a good, that's a good option. You like that. Now a cappuccino is pretty much the same as a latte, only the ratios are different. You have much more foam in a cappuccino and much more dense as a result. So uh, I would put a, caf a cappuccino right under a cafe latte because they're pretty much the same. Like, right now, if you're going out and you're asking for a cappuccino or a latte, in most stores, in most places, there is very little, if any, difference between the two. It's kind of, I don't, I'm not going to say it's a ripoff, but it's definitely, like, notable. There isn't much out there that you can't get from one or the other. So, that being said, between the two, I would rather have a latte because I know that at least I'm getting more milk to the espresso shot. Because most of the time, if the espresso shot comes out sour, you're really going to taste that in a cappuccino. You're not going to taste that as much in a cafe latte. Little tips. Little tips and tricks you get from working in coffee for way too long. Uh, cold brew. Cold brew is coffee that's been brewed overnight. It is delicious. I love it so much. You get a, a much sweeter coffee as a result. So you don't end up with like sour notes. It's easily like my favorite go-to drink. I would drink... Uh, cold brew all day long if I could. I have tried a few times. Normally I just get super dehydrated because coffee is very much a dehydrator. So, you know, is that is that a bad thing? No, it's just kind of, it's, it's what it is. There's no real issue there. So, 
Uh, Dobio, it's pretty much just, I'm pretty sure that's just a coffee at that point. Uh, nothing really much to say about that. Again, it all depends on the espresso that you're using. It all depends on the beans and how they're tuned. When you get it right, it's great. When you don't get it right, it's not very nice. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. An espresso con par. I don't know what this is, but it looks like, uh, probably like some kind of macchiato which would be the espresso shot and then the foam on top. I would, I'd probably put this in, in my caffeine fix just because I'm not quite sure on the particulars of this one. Uh, macchiato, I kind of feel the same way about. I don't feel like macchiatos or espresso ever quite have enough caffeine for me, especially because most of the time with coffee, you're actually getting less caffeine in an espresso shot than you are in just regular drip coffee or a regular cold brew, especially cold brew. Cold brew, you get a lot of caffeine, which might be why it's at the top of my list, because I'm sick, and that's what I like, and that's just how it goes. Mm. But all things considered, I would happily take an espresso anytime. So espresso, I would put uh, kind of at the same as uh, just above an Americano. Because Americano waters it down, and espresso is just pure, so you're getting the different flavors that mix. The The brilliance of the espresso is you get the crema on top, so it has that nice little bitter taste, and that's where you get that kind of sour, uh, that balance between sour sweet that you get in other coffees. But that's it mostly comes from espresso. So any drinks that use espresso, you'll have that idea. Uh, a flat white is pretty much uh, another form of the cappuccino cafe latte. I would kind of put it in between because you do get more, of, I think, prefer the ratio of one to the other. Uh, it started in Australia, it's very popular. A lot of people still really enjoy it. I, yeah, if you get it, if you got it, go for it. But yeah, as you get, it's so weird looking at the background, just seeing white wall, white wall. Don't worry, it won't stay white for long. I'll take care of it. Uh, we have a frappe. A frappe is pretty much just like a coffee milkshake. I don't even think there's another way to describe it. It's just a coffee milkshake. And they're delicious. Like, I will happily take a frappe anytime. Now, is it good? Uh, depends how much sugar they use. Uh, a freak shape is pretty much a, a frappe with alcohol. So, automatically, I'm going to, like, have that be closer to the top. Because, you know, it's, it's insane. It's great. No one... Why would you complain about any of that? All right, now we're getting into the good stuff. We have iced latte. Iced latte is pretty much a latte just with ice. And by virtue of it having ice, it automatically makes it a better option for me. I love iced coffee. I know there's a cliche with the queers and their iced coffee, but it's for a reason. It's very true. We love our iced coffee. I don't know what it is. We di I didn't make the rules. I just follow them. So we go for it. Iced mocha. I'm gonna say that's probably my second favorite right after cold brew. I don't think there's any that I haven't had that I haven't enjoyed. So yeah, you know, nothing wrong with a good old ice mocha in my opinion. Now Irish coffee is, I think a lot of people are gonna expect this to be high on my list. Not the biggest fan. Uh, Irish coffee is obviously coffee and whiskey and, mil and whipped cream, but I always find like milky, like, as an after-dinner dessert drink, absolutely. Go for it. As a drink on its own, I don't know. <laughs> You're making some choices at that point. So it really just depends on what they're looking for or what they're wanting. But I don't like the mix of... I don't like the mix of whiskey and uh, milk. So that's just me. Uh, latte macchiato, pretty much just another denser latte. Uh, I would kind of put it in the middle. Again, it's not one I would go for because you can get better options at better prices usually. So that's just what we do. Uh, Lungo and Ristretto are pretty much just coffees, I believe, the way they're made. But I don't actually know uh, the specific differences between them. So I'm going to have to look those up. And in the meantime, I will never turn away coffee, apparently. Even when it's disgusting Tim Horton coffee, I'll still normally have it. Oh, I didn't realize that at the bottom of the screen was a Tim Horton screen, but there it is. There it is. Yeah, so the advertisement that I wasn't expecting uh, <laughs> made this interesting. All right, that's coffee. What do you think? What's your favorite coffee drink? I want to know. So let me know what you think. And until next time, I will see you soon. Enjoy my new place. It's going to change very quickly, very fast. So, en joie. Bye.